Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is a brief course selection presentation that highlights some of the information that would have been presented at our course selection nights held in early February. I will not be going through every single one of these slides, but we hope that uh, the information here is helpful. You can find all of these, uh, all of these uh, presentations and slideshows on our scheduling website. I'm going to show you how to get there right now. First, I have the high school webpage bookmarked, but when you go to the high school webpage, you begin by mousing over to the academics tab and then highlighting down to scheduling, and you will find all of this information right here, as well as the course selection sheets for students. To go back to our presentation, we have a few names of people that can be helpful in the process. Their contact information is located back over on that scheduling site. For students in grades 9, 10, and 11, graduation requirements start to become something that uh, is obviously of concern or certainly something we want to have people keep in mind. Most families are aware of the different levels, college prep, honors, and advanced placement. And there are some different uh, requirements for all of those courses. If you need more time to read all of these, again, please uh, make sure you take a look. You can hit pause and read this for a second. We use the term that learning is not linear and that sometimes students feel bogged down into, well, if I took honors in a course for one level, it obliges them to take honors the next. Students go back and forth based on interest, as well as their own performance and things they feel like they have time for. We want students to consider the things they like most. And as they get to become juniors and seniors, as some of their graduation requirements go away, we would anticipate them having more choices. Our program of studies is pretty robust, and so there are a lot of opportunities for electives. Juniors and seniors will also start considering what colleges want. Hit pause now to take a look at all of these, but you can also make sure that You'd contact your child's counselor to see what kind of balance is needed for the type of schools that students are considering. We ask that all students sign up for 14 credits and select five alternate electives. Some students will start thinking about what they need in terms of um, internships or uh, work studies and things like that, but we still ask them to sign up for 14 credits. For seniors who are in good standing, meaning good behavior, good attendance, and on pace to graduate, they have an opportunity to enroll in what's called a senior privilege. That becomes a self-directed period, one semester or the other in the senior year that can be elected in place of an elective. However, we still ask them to select 14 credits worth of courses and their alternates, and then we would plug the senior privilege in where it is appropriate. Early college opportunities are something that is open to both juniors and seniors, but typically seniors. We offer what is called the AccuPlacer test, which is something that the college is used for placement. Given a standard, a standard score on both the English and the math, or one or the other, a qualifying score will enable a student to take a course at Uxbridge High School for college credit. There is a fee attached to that course, which is a transcript fee that's paid uh, through the college. If we offer the course being taught by one of our teachers, it's a $100 charge. If we offer it online through an adjunct professor of the college, it is a $250 charge. The student earns a grade and three credits that move on to a college, transfer, uh, college transcript. And those credits are transferable into any Massachusetts community college or state college and university as well as any other state college or university in New England. We also know of some private schools that accept those credits. AccuPlace will be offered here in March, and if a student does not pass, that student can retest at the Quinsig campus. There's no charge for taking the test. Whether the student pays the $100 or the $250, as well as the books of the class, we know that that is far less than whatever the colleges are charging. For example, UMass is close to $1,500 for three credits. 
We currently offer it in English composition and are looking to expand. However, if a student has taken and passed the AP Language and Composition exam, they're not eligible to take English Comp because the two courses are uh, basically one and the same. The rest of these slides, as you navigate through, list out what some of our courses are. They match up with the course selection sheets that were provided to students. There are some new courses that are being offered next year. For example, in science, you'll see a course somewhere on the course selection sheet is a full year elective called Principles of Biomedical Science, which is an introduction to biomedical engineering, something we know many students are interested in pursuing in terms of career. In technology education, we are partnering with the state as part of a, what is called an innovation pathway. We are one of only about seven or eight schools that are, are trying to get this distinction statewide, where students would complete a three-year engineering sequence, intro to engine design, principle of engineering, and computer integrated manufacturing, which would then lead to a an internship or a capstone project in the senior year. That internship is going to be offered in consultation and collaboration with the Blackstone Valley Chamber of Commerce, placing students into a career paths right here in the Blackstone Valley with places that have high demand for employers, uh, for employees. We will help find internships in that field and what we're learning is that some of them are actually paid. So students who have taken intro to engineering design or principles of engineering, we encourage strongly that they stick it through. And if they're entering grade 10 or 11, by all means, start the engineering courses. There is a lot of demand. And for students who don't want to be living on their parents' basement for the, uh, for the rest of their lives or sleeping on a couch, uh, these are high demand, high income, and uh, a lot of opportunity. In social studies, we do have one additional elective. That would be the Psychology 2 course that has been added as a second semester to Psych 1. And in music, you'll see some different electives, particularly um, in band with the integration of grade 8 to Uxbridge High School next year. Band will be two different ensembles, and they'll work together, obviously, with Mrs. Penza, but we'll have a grade 8, 9 band, and we'll have a grade 10 through 12 band just because of the different skill levels of students. The other department that will have two new courses being offered, the wellness classes at the bottom of this list, a stress management and a sports science class. Sports science being the study of uh, exercise physiology and kinesiology. Stress management um, is exactly what it sounds like. We expect that one to be pretty popular. We also have the opportunity to offer online courses for students who uh, maybe don't have uh, or are looking for an opportunity that is not in the Uxbridge High School Program of Studies, we ask that you talk to guidance counselors about that first. There typically is a charge for them, and we want to be honest about uh, where they would fit. They really only uh, are suitable for certain kinds of students, so we want to be, uh, go through into those with a, a level of caution. So here's our timeline. Unfortunately, our grade 11 parent meeting was, was canceled. We will be reviewing course selections, and students will be in uh, will be inputting uh, their, their course selections prior to February vacation from a high school standpoint. We want to reiterate that students shouldn't just write down classes that they think they want to take, and if it doesn't fall the way they, they thought, they would just uh, then, then move on um, you know, and, and do something different or choose something different. Our goal with uh, the course selections is that students pick classes they're actually going to take. Um, there isn't a shop period. There isn't an ad drop period. Um, the courses that students register drive how we develop the schedule. So um, it's not a pick and choose and see if they like things sort of, sort of mentality. For questions, if there's a specific course recommendation or there's a discrepancy between what the student wants and what the teacher's recommended, start with the teacher. For questions about specific electives, refer to the program of studies or contact department leaders, counselors, or administration. And if there are big picture questions about an entire uh, balance of a student's schedule, their course load, start with your child's guidance counselor. There are also some FAQs that are, that are there and, and some other information on the, uh, on the website. 
We hope that all that information is helpful. And again, please reach out to counselors, administrators, teachers, anybody you need if you have any questions. Thank you for your attention, and we look forward to working with your students on building next year's schedule.